In this video, we'll talk about how to use files in VSP. Let's use open as an example, and here you can see it's looking for existing VSP3 files in this directory. We can click, accept, and now we can manipulate this model and we're ready to go. Now let's look at that file box in a bit more detail. Notice that we have our change directory dot dot command here that takes us up one level. If we click on any of these directories in bold, it takes us down a level. Again, you can enter the path manually if you choose, or you can use these buttons to jump around in your directories. So if you want to quickly jump all the way back to a folder, you can just click there and you're good. Here in the top right, you have access to your favorite locations in VSP. So you can add a location to favorites by navigating here, clicking add to favorites. You can clear your entire list of favorites, which I wouldn't recommend doing. You can go to your home directory or to the VSP path where OpenVSP happens to be installed. Now, if you want to edit this list manually or say you want to delete a path from your favorites, you can go to your users, username, app data, roaming, openvsp.org. And there you'll find a vsp.prefs file. That's the text based file with all of these. And all you have to do is edit that manually and save it. And then the next time you run VSP, this list will be updated accordingly.